Hello students, today, let's discuss biodiversity and conservation. For our big idea, biodiversity loss and extinction. In focus, biodiversity is a vital resource that must be protected and sustained for future generation. Biodiversity comes from the Greek word bios, which means life, and Latin word diversitas meaning variety. It refers to the variety of life on Earth at all its levels, from genes to ecosystems, and can encompass the evolutionary, ecological, and cultural processes that sustain life. Four components of biodiversity. We have ecosystem diversity, genetic diversity, species diversity and functional diversity. Genetic diversity refers to the total of the variety of genes or inheritable characteristics present in a population of organisms. A healthy population possess a diversity of traits and members lacking a diverse set of genes are less able to adapt and survive. Traits such as differences in color, size, ability to run fast from predators, or ability to fight off diseases are determined by genes. Species diversity refers to variety of life forms and the number of each species present in a biological community. The abundance of different kinds of species in a particular area is called species richness, while the abundance members within a particular species is called species evanescence. For example, a dessert may have low species richness because of a few variety of species with only, say, scorpions, chameleons, and rattlesnakes. But it can have a high species of Venice because of a high number of rattlesnakes in the area. Ecosystem diversity refers to the variety of ecosystems in a biosphere. while functional diversity refers to the biological and chemical process that includes energy flow, biogeochemical or nutrient cycles, and interactions of organisms, which are important for the survival of species, populations, communities, and the entire ecosystems. Top 6 Reasons for Losing the Biodiversity Next is conservation status. Are you see in red list of threatened species? The conservation status of a species is an indicator of the likelihood of that species continuing to survive either in the present day or the future. Protecting the species Captive breeding entails the mating of animals in zoos or wildlife reserves. Laws can help protect individual species. The Endangered Species Act of the Philippines prohibits the trade of products made from endangered or threatened species. Establishments of gene banks, botanical gardens, and wildlife farms also help protect our species. Always remember, when they run out, you will be without.
No matter how few possessions you own or how little money you have, moving wildlife and nature will make you rich beyond measure. Anyone who has no feelings for animals has a dead heart. Look deep into nature, and then you will understand everything better.